Hey, what's up you guys? Hi, right, welcome back to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe now. And on this particular channel, um, we will be talking about videography and photography. Today we want to talk about tips for church photography. These are some tips um, that I have learned doing church photography. Let's get right into it, you guys. All right, the first tip I want to give you guys is know how to operate your camera in low light situations. I remember starting out as a church photographer when I was doing church photography. I found myself in a situation where the light was so low that um, I couldn't even, I didn't know how to operate my camera enough where I can switch the exposure and all that stuff there. So get out the grain, all that stuff out of your picture, make your picture look very, you know, with no noise in it and stuff like that. I didn't know none of that. So I learned my camera and I learned my lens and stuff like that. Uh, so I was able to switch quick. I, I'm now I'm able to switch quick and get a shot and move on. And, you know, I was trying to do, I, know, I can remember, I can recall the situation where I was trying to do, uh, use auto, you know, just go by auto, just put my camera auto and shoot, <laughs> shoot in auto, but it didn't work. One time I tried to flash and I got to the point where I had to flash, tried to take a picture, I missed the shot because my camera wouldn't even flash. It didn't have enough light to even capture a shot. So I switched it to manual without even knowing how did I, you know, <laughs> know anything about it. Man, I switched it to manual and next thing you know, I was able to get a shot. And then from there, I was able to learn. I said, I need to learn how to operate my camera more so I know when I get in a situation like this, I'm able to capture the shot I want. So make sure you know you know how to operate your camera in low light situations. Number two, get lens that work in good lighting. Get lens that work in good lighting. Um, I would say this is a 50 millimeter lens works pretty nice. Nicely, if it's a big uh, space, you're able to bag up and get you know shots that you want. But the thing about it, if you're in a a small space, you can't bag. It's only so far you can go back to get the shot. So that's the only thing about that. Make sure you get you a 70 to 200 uh, millimeter lens, uh, a zoom lens, because it is very important as well. You can stand back and just you know get your shot and without being so close on someone because a whole lot of people are camera frightened so uh, when they see a camera they like they tense up and you don't want you know that to be shown in your pictures so next thing i want you guys to do uh next tip i have ask clients you know ask the client what shots are important to this this is every video i'm going to make sure i say that because it's very important to know what kind of shots um, your clients like they hired you for a reason so make sure you get the shots they want and then you can just get creative and get the shots you know you like I mean that you you know want to get um, next thing number four um, know the church schedule know how the program if it's a program make sure you know what's going on uh, what time you need to be in this such and such but most time you, you know the church program uh, they're not, not gonna have the time they're just gonna have you know devotion all this stuff there depending on what kind of church you go to uh just make sure you know how everything gets flowing and if not just wing it man just try to get to the best the right place at the right time that's why it's good to have that 70 to 200 millimeter lens so you can stand far away you see a reaction bam get it so that's how I, that's all for that one uh number five use flash less as possible i say this because um, if, they, if your church is live streaming, live streaming or whatever the case may be, that flash is going to be showing in the uh, <laughs> while they're doing the live stream or in the broadcast or whatever. So try to use flash less, in, less as possible. If you don't have you know equipment that work good in low lighting, you're going to have to use that flash. So you have to use it, use it, man, to get your shots. And number six, practice taking pics in low light. This will help help me very. Uh, a lot um i do it at home i still do it sometimes i just you know get it dark as possible learn how to flip it when lights go out lights go on lights dim you just learn how to learn how to adjust and that comes with knowing your camera next thing uh number seven would say stay alert stay alert be sure to stay alert because you don't want to miss those great unforgettable moments and those reactions uh, with the uh, pastor and the members or with the pastor and you know first time visitors you want to make sure you get a lot of those shots and pics of family and stuff like that but this comes with number um, eight the last one make your shot list so make sure you put in your shot list get a you know a lot of reactions uh, interactions 
between the uh, first lady, pastor, and the church members, stuff like that. Make sure you get those uh, very important shots. Uh, make sure you get the speaker speaking. Um, if they have a balcony or whatever, make sure you go up there, try to get those shots and get the speaker speaking with the crowd. You know, uh, you can stand behind the crowd and, you know, put your focus on the speaker and it will capture a great shot. Just, you know, adjust your exposure, whatever the case may be to your liking. Uh, next thing, uh, get crowd, you know, with speaker, I just went over that. Uh, make sure you take pictures of the praise team. You take pictures of the praise team, whether it's on the side of them, uh, get in the back where you get behind the praise team and get the crowd, you know, in the shot with the praise team. That's it's a very great shot to get. Uh, next thing you want to do is uh, next thing on your shot list, I'm um, capture, I got that already capture um, the pastor's reaction. Uh, and the last, last one, make sure you uh, capture unforgettable moments. I said that I was well, but make sure you put all these things on your shot list. So you can have something to go back to if you get something or if I didn't get that. Could you try again? If you get some stop it. If you um happen, you know, just to uh run out of getting shots, the pizza speaker speaking, go to your shot list and try to get some detailed shots and stuff like that, especially if they are um if they have a uh, nice thing after the program or after church. Hmm. Yeah, they have um sorry about that they have a uh, like uh, a meet and greet at the church like my pastors they you know go in a um, coffee shop you know coffee they call it I can't even think of what they call it right now ain't that something uh, but they go you know drink coffee donuts with the um, the first time visitors and, and make sure you know they be talking to the you know, get to know the clients and stuff like that. You can get a lot of shots that way. You can get a lot of those shots, the interaction and stuff like that. Why are they eating? Why are they fellowshipping? And that's probably, you know, most of it. And if I, you know, think about something else, I'll make sure I do a follow-up on this video. But these are, you know, eight important tips or eight tips you can use while doing your church photography. All right, you guys. God bless them out. Like I said, if you are... Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, comment something, uh, comment below if you want me to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about the, everything I, I basically know about photography and videography and the things I, you know, get to know. Make sure I come share with you guys because I want you guys to grow with me and go on this journey like I said with me. I'm not perfect, a perfect photographer, I'm not a perfect videographer, but I'm, uh, I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing it, I'm making mistakes, uh, I'm learning from mistakes and I'm sharing it with you guys. That's what this channel really is about, you know, just, you know, helping you guys out if you want to get into photography or videography. God bless. I'm out. Until next time. Peace.